Okay, so uh, let's see. Not a lot of novel stuff on the Just agenda a today. Well, that's the way it goes. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't show up anyway. Um, uh, so, current candidates. We have um, the... <laughs> We have the uh, voice voice mo cohort, which is what was the voice cohort combined with the merchant outbox cohort. Both were doing well, so we combined them um, to give them a little accelerated path out the door. Hopefully, um, there's the interest interesting slash interest list uh, viewer. Um, and sunshine and a maintenance branch lots of bug fixes um those four are in the the release candidate cohorts now um most have not been there very long so we're still collecting data on them um it is not likely that one of them will be released this coming monday because it won't have been long enough since we since we released a viewer. Um, this, as you know, this week we we promoted the Google Breakpad viewer. Um, a note on the Google Breakpad viewer. I should have put this on the agenda. Actually, um, we did a lot of moving of the moving around of where and when in initialization. Um, the crash dump stuff happens and where and when the uh, marker files are created and deleted. They are now the marker files that produce the the uh, last exec event crash rate number. Um, they're now the, the the earliest one is now created much earlier in initialization than it used to be and it's deleted much much later in teardown than it used to be. Um, so uh, we're covering more of the code with with that mechanism than we were before, and the result is that the crash rate uh, measurement has gone up a little bit, a uh, couple of percent on our on our uh, on our measurements. Um, I still have not decided anything about whether or not I'm going to keep using crash rate or even disconnect rate as a way of ordering the third party viewer directory. So. Um, uh, I'm probably just not going to change the order for a little while, but um, until I've sorted out a better mechanism. Uh, I did fiddle around briefly with um, trying to get it to display in a completely random order every time somebody refreshed the page, but it turns out we don't have the necessary extensions in our wiki, um, and I don't know if I'm going to bug anybody to put them in. So, um, anyway... That's still uh, that's still something I'm thinking about and not doing much of anything about. Um, yeah, uh, we we we've we've got people looking at some of the brake pad crash reporting stuff. Mostly windows becoming visible when we didn't expect them to. Um, I'm not really sure what that's all about. Um, but thank you for the reports and, and their thoroughness. We'll, we'll see if that can get some refinement. Um, so let's see. There are, there are other viewers out there as project viewers now. Um, SL Share, Zipper, and the one that's not in a, it's only semi public, the Oculus Rift project viewer. Um, we are still, taking applications to use that from anybody who actually already has the hardware. Um, and uh, so far the feedback on it has been very good. Um, it will need another round of updates once we have the uh, second generation prototypes, um, but nobody expects to go get those for a couple of months. So um, that's, uh, and I, I don't believe we're going to, Put that viewer out there until after that. Um, so that's that. Um, so we have uh, with us here today, we have Marov, um, who came to t 
talk about the changes that have happened in the SL Share Viewer and add, ask, answer any questions that anybody has about that stuff. Um, that will probably be going to a release candidate any minute now, um, fairly quickly in any event. So, um, questions and comments, Marov. It's all yours. Hi, yeah, so I didn't know you put me on the spot to actually present uh, anything, but uh, yes, we do have uh, an SL share to candidates that integrates uh, additionally to Facebook, uh, Twitter, and Flickr. Uh, so you can, I mean, the users can um, uh, send uh, updates and photos, etc., using those um, networks. Uh, in the meantime, I don't know if you've been using Facebook. You may have noticed that actually the Facebook photo we've been banned by Facebook or kicked out, let's say, because we kind of uh, did something they didn't like on, on the photo, which was actually adding a, a link to uh, to uh, the SL location on photos, and they, they didn't like that, so we took we had to take that out which we did. So now they eventually, uh, after a couple of weeks, uh, agreed it was okay. So they turn us on again so that's good uh, the uh, the new thing um, in Flickr and Twitter and actually Facebook as well is that now we add low filters on images so it's possible to actually add filters uh, filter eff effects it's pretty easy to use in the UI just a, a drop down but the interesting things for TPP users especially for TPP developers in particular is that an any resident that you can actually edit those filters and add any uh, anything you want with a free sample uh, XML um, or actually uh, LSL. Uh, what I'm saying, no, LSD, sorry, description <laughs> file that use um, a set of uh, pretty fun filters and there is uh, also um, uh, ways to create mats that I call stencils which is a clear sort of um, way to, call, to um, create uh, an alpha channel to compose actually the filtered image to the background image. Anyhow, yeah, really uh, saying that she, she played with it and uh, she did fantastic actually uh, post on, on Flickr. So uh, really, if you want to share the link, by the way, with the crowd, that would be cool because she she used some of the filter that I, I did put into the um, the example code in the image heap test, uh, some of them are not in by default into into the list, but you can look at them and they're kind of really funky. You can really do a lot of very um, interesting things with those filters. We basically have um, uh, the most commonly used um, filtering primitives uh, for uh, at your disposal, and quite a lot of things can be done with that. So um, that's. Um, I don't want to, to use all my all the time <laughs> ch chatting about this. There is a documentation. I'm trying to find actually the, the, the dark link on the wiki, and I was kind of having a problem this morning to find it. Uh, I think it's uh, the wiki is SL image, uh, SL viewer or viewer image filter. I think right. Uh, so I'm going to try to to get the wiki. And if you have any question, please uh, ask me. Uh, that's, uh, I'd be happy to, to answer any. Uh, Mirov, I just first of all wanted to say, uh, way to go. It's very cool. And um, we're looking forward to that. What, I, I, might, I might have missed it. What stage is that at right now? Is it past QA? Is it in, in a release yet? It is in a project viewer so uh, the repo is public uh, if you are a developer you can actually pull on it and try to start to uh, merge it uh, and um, yeah it's not a release viewer yet it's a project viewer do you have any I know I know we ask this all the time and I know you can't really answer but any kind of an ETA so we're preparing a release uh, probably just after the end of this month and um, we would love to be able to include this uh, but obviously we have to wait till you release that, you know, properly. Um, it, it will probably be in a release candidate well before the end of the month, and that's and, and that's legit for you to integrate at that point. Oh, cool. So it has passed QA. Uh, well, oh, yeah. well, it has, past to, get it, through, so it must it has to get through a pretty heavy round of QA just to get to a project viewer, but yeah. Um, 
yeah, that one, uh, that one's going to be out there. Um, in answer to Inara's question in text in uh, in chat, there, um, the the SL Share project doesn't include putting the filter capabilities into the snapshot floater, but uh, uh, Naran is working on that. So uh, we may get that as another open source contribution. Um, yeah, it's not overly difficult to do that. Actually, um, as a sort of, uh, I did it for, for a demo once, so it, it's pretty easy to add. Uh, I didn't do it because the snapshot, at least we have in the viewer, the official viewer of snapshot UI has plenty of how to put that nicely uh, oddities <laughs> shortcomings let's say okay yeah so I, I was putting my head into uh, my um, my hands into that code and I was thinking oh god that's sticky and uh, so if I really want to do it correctly I have to redo everything so uh, so we kind of you know no one would be surprised that Naran is <laughs> redoing everything. So, uh, so I kind of went to see the designers and said, you know, I think we should redo this and tidy. Say, okay, uh, yes, but not now. Okay, so so I'm not working on that right now. But yes, it's it's, uh, it's possible, and uh, definitely you're welcome in, in Firestorm to uh, to use uh, the filtering system and, and implement into uh, your own um, snapshot uh, dialog. And I won't be offended. That's good. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, Good think, job. Good I, job. I think we'll. I think we'll actually get that back. The, the other. Um, the other. Just as a as an FYI, and I didn't clear saying this bef with Merrill before I before I said it. But one of the other things he didn't get to do as part of this project was a filter editor that lets you create new filters by combining the primitives. Um, so if anybody wanted to do that, that would be a very welcome contribution, and I'm sure he'd be more than happy to review it. Um, <laughs> You're sending Rurley off now. <laughs> <laughs> she's been like we lost really when when this went into project view we lost really for like days because she just playing with that thing steady well i'm glad we were able to provide her with some recreational opportunities for a change <laughs> uh, so we have an uploader to Flickr um in firestone we've had it for some time um where I, I guess we'll probably just replace uh ours with yours It's okay, better. yeah. Yeah, we've been using the, the same infrastructure in the back end, so um, there is, uh, I mean, the same infrastructure, the same model, if you want, on uh, how people can uh, connect to the system so that there is no possibility of leaking, actually, private information of residents to to anyone, even, even to uh, someone who would go into the code and try to uh, to track Things, uh, oh, good, good. So, uh, what about yeah. Facebook? Is there any news on the whole Facebook thing? So uh, maybe you weren't there when I, I talked about it a little bit. So the, we were banned by uh, Facebook a little bit on the, the photo uh, API that prevented us yeah, to use the yeah. photo API. And now it's on since uh, last week. Oh, they've, uh, oh good. Yeah. So it's working they're again. Turning on. It's working again. Oh, good, yeah. good, good, good. We have to do. We had to actually modify the backend to take away, to take out, if you want, the um, the, the link to uh, to to the world in in the caption. There was a, a checkbox to say add caption, add the, the link to to the caption, to the photo caption, and they didn't like that. Every, so we have to take that out. Everything in a photo caption is supposed to have been typed by a human being, explicitly one character at a time. That's a little yeah. bit ridiculous, but yeah, it is well, Facebook after all. Yeah, so um, they they decided that we had we had crossed some kind of a line there. So they, but they did. Um, I, my understanding is they did restore pictures that had been posted previously, um, even though they had yeah. hidden them for a while. So that's uh, that's kind of a nice nice thing that they might not have done, and they did. <laughs> um, let's see. So, okay. if there is any, oh, sorry, if there is any question on integration, etc., um, 
from uh, the Firestorm folks or, or others, please send me an email. Uh, I'd be more than, uh, than welcome to, more than happy to answer. Thank you, Miraf. Probably, uh, we'll probably get Tank. Tank, do you want to do that merge? Where else? I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. So, uh, yeah, we're we're yes. working on a, a release. We were gonna. <laughs> Uh, so we're going to release what's on our tip, basically. Um, we've updated uh, WebKit, and we've uh, fixed uh, the OpenSSL issue um, for our Windows build. And uh, so that's going to go out in the release as well. Yeah, we updated WebKit. I had a feeling Monty's ears would perk up. <laughs> Monty has been, uh, has been deep in the WebKit swamp for some time now. So. Oh, have you been working on upgrading? Or updating it. I know you um, wanted to. We've been working on um, undoing a bunch of damage and then trying to get forward um, just to get to 474 first and then the 48 a little bit later on. And I'm just about at the end of that. Um, I've basically, well, my goal is to kill the current um, third party LQT WebKit library uh, repo. And I've created a new one that's a little healthier and working a little bit better. But tell me what you're doing. Uh, well, Ooh, we've uh, series. yeah, we've upgraded to or updated. And Nikki has updated it uh, with Worley's help. Worley says she can't code. Yeah, right. Um, and uh, but it's only Windows so far. Um, we're going to work on updating it for Linux and Mac next. Uh, I don't know if. Well, hopefully we can get that done in time. Oh, I know TechWolf's going to work on Linux, and um, Tanya's going to see if she can build the Mac, but she wouldn't be able to fix any issues. She doesn't believe if there's anything significant. Nikki might be able to. So, anyway, we're in that process, um, and th this is only just in the last uh, what day, uh, two days that we've had it so we're you know we haven't even really gone into testing it properly yet but um so far uh so far it seems okay uh details on uh how it was done would have to come from nikki who's not here i'm afraid um and i'm not sure if it's even committed to our repo is it committed really it's not committed yet, so it's it's still not. So we're still doing internal testing. Um, once we've, you know, our the devs have tested things, then we'll commit it and uh, become visible. Um, and um, any other information, uh, if you like Monty, if you have like specific questions, um, send me an email, and I'll throw them over at, at Nikki. Yeah, I do. I will. Uh, I'll throw them at you. Uh, so we think it'll f fix the flash thing, yeah. Uh, it's it's fixed the um, media on a prim uh, YouTube issue, YouTube. which is the main reason for it. Um, well, that's that's great. So we'll we'll keep an eye on that and see what happens with with those things. Uh, I'm not sure yet where and when uh, Monty's work on WebKit will appear in a in a release stream, but it's it, it won't get lost. I, I didn't know um, I didn't know Monty was actively working. I know Monty wanted to work on it. And I wasn't sure that um... well, he got he he sort of got sidetracked on other things and sucked into it and he's he's not one to leave a terrible situation alone once he's once he's had <laughs> too much contact with it so he, um, so um, yes cinder there it's not it's not being actively maintained and um, 
and that is a matter of concern and at some point hopefully we'll do something about it um, but we don't have a firm plan that's that's among the alternatives that have been discussed is to look at CEF um, so we, we may well do something like that but it's has not yet made it onto the uh, even someday project list uh, we'll see um, so uh, let's see um, other than other than that so group bands has gone back for another round of rework and should I think be appearing grid wide on a DD pretty soon uh, was the intent. I have not heard any predictions for dates on that, but that's out there. Um, the snowstorm branch, there's so much ahead of me, I haven't started moving that one yet. Um, but uh, at, at some point, that will, that too will, will. Uh, start since I so far have it called the winter work and it's no longer winter here the last of the ice has melted off my pond so that's good I can go swimming yeah I'm gonna go shopping not for yet. a wetsuit this weekend actually. So <laughs> oh I are you try that. yeah I would not uh, go swimming in that water in this temperature <laughs> we'll see a little bit cold we'll see. yeah very very cold um dry suit not a wet suit. Yeah, something. I, I, I got to learn, learn what what it will take. Um, so that's pretty much the picture from our point of view. I don't really have anything else of of great import today. Um, so the floor is open. Uh, and you guys know now where we are. So that's about it for us. Beer suits. <laughs> No, Jess. Cocoa bugs. You wanted to bring up cocoa bugs again. Right? Oh, yes, I have to bring... Oh, that's the point. So I'm going to have to grief you guys about this every time. Um, any progress on those um, cocoa uh, bugs? I emailed you. I think there's at least one or two of them are in the maintenance branch. I heard one of them... Um, uh, which one I... was it? Or else which one was it that doesn't properly actually fix? Uh... My memory is so bad. Kitty, Kitty told us to beware of it. Do you remember? Oh, Kitty's here. I didn't realize you were here. What was that um, Mac fix that uh, Lynn and I had that that um, you said sort of is a workaround and doesn't work? Yeah, right. the The garbage characters one is finally fixed. Oh, that's right. Okay, don't mind me. It was an inventory thing. Never mind. Okay. Um, yeah, they're, they're, all of those are on our list of things to do, but um, not all are actually getting done yet. Um, I'm particularly interested in the alt cam bug. At the moment, I was just going to say the camera bug is, is a really big one. It's a... It, it, Try using it when you're only um, pointing devices at trackpad. It's really a uh, I can't imagine. <laughs> yeah, um, <laughs> it's it's seriously seriously obnoxious uh, that way. Um, but the um, uh, I've been I've been staying on the voice viewers because they're so much better on the Mac than actually they're better on everything as for near as I can tell. Oh, that's a point I should mention. Our release will be will be releasing out the latest Vivox. Oh, good. Yeah, it 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 really is hugely better, and um, it uh, it will take a bunch of 
uh, load off of the voice backend um, if people mostly switch over to the new ones. Uh, some of the some of the bugs in the last version um, cause spurious errors that end up basically spamming everybody's log files and slowing everything down. Uh, uh, so if we can get the more of those we can get off the grid, the better, actually. Uh, Yeah, good. See, we're making progress on the MacBooks. That's encouraging. Some of them, anyway. That's encouraging because uh, I've got, I've got some poor people, who uh, are nagging me, <laughs> and like we should strike, we should go on strike, and so we need to get these fixed. Um, Gibson, before filing a, a uh, an issue on that test get yourself a copy of the voice update and test on that one because I think it's fixed okay well that's make sure that if you if you do report any issue related to voice report it only mention the um, the voice mo viewer stream because if you don't then if you mention anything else, people will take one look at it and say, oh, this wasn't tested on the right viewer, throw it away. Um, so, uh, but we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens with that. I thought we'd gotten most of those process management issues dealt with. That's a drag if that's not true. Uh, Um, if you're if you're running more than one viewer and you're having problems with the voice processes, that's not terribly surprising. Bear in mind that running more than one viewer is not actually a, a quote supported unquote thing to do, even though we have a preference that allows it. Yeah, we tell our users that all the time too. Yeah, uh, and in particular, I've seen a, a few bug reports lately that referenced. The fact that if you if you run Firestorm and run the Second Life viewer at the same time, assorted things go wrong. Um, that's not even slightly surprising because we don't use the same mechanism to detect that there's a second viewer running, and so we don't detect that the other one is there, and then the collisions start happening that we would otherwise attempt to avoid. So um, that's an especially unsupported thing to do. <laughs> It's even more unsupported. <laughs> that's, that's even more unsupported. That's that's so unsupported that we just laugh at you for having done it and go, <laughs> no, not not really. But we <laughs> we we do laugh. We try not to make it laughing at you. Uh, but uh, it it definitely. I mean, it's just not even close to. Yeah, really. I'm not. That's not working for me. My alt is over at the um the the uh. The yeah, the how's it calling in the W the VWBP thing Virtual and I world. voice better education something or other. Anyway, Ebby is supposed to speak very shortly, so I've put my alt in there, and uh, I don't have a second voice working over there. Oh, that's right. He's uh, speaking at some conference or something today. Yeah, in yeah. half an hour. Virtual yeah. world's best practices for education, Jess. That's that's the one, yeah. There you go. I was 21 meters from Philip the other day. Wow. I'm special, <laughs> along with like a million other people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Philip did a, a keynote speech, and Abby's doing one today. And according to Philip, the problem with Second Life and virtual worlds is... The mouse. It's all the mouse's fault. Well, that's... That's not hard that's, to argue. That's okay. I just checked Facebook, and I'm still able to post pictures from Second Life 
taken directly from Second Light, from my Firestorm viewer to my Facebook account. It is yeah, uh, Mirov was just telling us that it, that's that's been fixed now, and Facebook has re-enabled it. And uh, VWER is the link to the um, schedule for the keynote speech. Okay, no other new topics? Do we get to go nope. home early today? We get to go home or go listen to Abby. All right, well, go get good seats for Abby's talk then. It's Actually, it's almost full already. I can't bring up yet because I have to do some testing. I've noticed that new voice bug that I was talking about at the support meeting, so I need to test that on that Linden Lab viewer, I guess. Oh, dear. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Mirov. Thank you, Monty. Send me an email, Monty. I'll, I'll make sure that it gets um, looked at right away. Will do. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. See you in two weeks. Annie, can I take a rain check on that? Um, I want to get my main over to the um, keynote speech before it before it's full. Uh, it's supposed to happen in 27 minutes. All righty. Out of here. Have a good weekend, everybody. Oh, uh, yeah, that. Good weekend. Sender, is that because you keep sending him sex bugs? Yeah, that's not going to work. 